Keenan Alley, we have been covering this story for months now, and of course, that big decision you are referencing, will Detroit's historic and beloved band shell find new life and new purpose here at Palmer Park? Just about a mile and a half down Woodward from its original home at the Old State Fairgrounds, which as we all know is now the site of an Amazon distribution center set to open sometime next year. What we would like to do, um, given that it's in a public park, is really um, utilize the structure for family-friendly type events. That was Rochelle Lento, president of People for Palmer Park back in March, shortly after Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan announced this beloved band shell would be spared from demolition, as long as the community agreed on a proper new home for it. Tonight's meeting is expected to determine if the band shell gets the final stamp of approval to move to Palmer Park and be used as a family-oriented performing arts center, tucked behind DPD's 12th precinct in an area that used to be a golf course. The city and people affiliated with the park looking for input from people who live nearby. I think it would draw people in and then we can even have concerts in the park. It's a peaceful place and that I think that would just bring a lot of noise and confusion. When it sat for decades at the old state fairgrounds, its stage was graced by music icons like Ella Fitzgerald, Duke Ellington and Three Dog Night to name a few. But the music stopped in 2009 and the structure sat unused. When the city sold the fairgrounds property for development into an Amazon distribution center, which in turn will also pay for a new public transportation hub there, the future of the band shell hung in limbo. In addition to a virtual petition, District 2 City Councilman Roy McAllister Jr. also pushed to save it. For many, Palmer Park seems like a fitting new location, not far from its original home. In recent months, we've seen the structure's careful disassembly. The city saying the goal would be to move the band shell by fall. Ideas for its encore, live performances from DSO, outdoor plays, or even movies in the park. Now, as you heard, there is some concern about noise and how the possible move of this band shell to Palmer Park could impact surrounding neighborhoods. But Lento says any events that were hosted there, they'd have to be wrapped up by 10 o'clock because that is when the park closes. That issue, of course, expected to be discussed in further detail tonight. We want to show you when and where this meeting is happening. Take a look at your screen there. The meeting led by the city is happening tonight at 630 at Detroit Unity Temple. That's on 2nd Avenue. Of of course, much more to come on this story. Reporting live this morning in Palmer Park, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.